Every night since the death of George Floyd two months ago, anti-racism activists in Portland have gathered together to mark his killing and demand change. George Floyd died saying I can't breathe and so I feel like it's my duty to spend every breath I have fighting for this cause and they'll have to take that away from me before I stop. So it's something I strongly believe in and I'll be here every night until change comes. The protests have often turned violent. Over a score of people have been arrested in relation to an attack on a courthouse over the weekend. But the critics, including the city's mayor, say federal agents are exacerbating the situation as well. Law enforcement have taken demonstrators away in unmarked vans, beaten up a Navy veteran and fired tear gas. But for US Attorney General William Barr, the response is proportionate. And he's due to tell the House Judiciary Committee on Tuesday that officers are there to ensure the rule of law so that people can live their lives safely and without fear. Law and order is gearing up to be a key issue in November's election, with President Trump taking frequent aim at the protesters as well as Democratic politicians who he attacks as soft on crime.